Happy Monday, everyone, and welcome to another Yellow Chair, where today we're going to be talking about the Asbury Revival and one takeaway that you can include in your life to experience revival as well. Well, it's been all over the news that Asbury Seminary has had a, a mighty move of God on their campus and now other campuses are reporting the same thing. Lee University, Cedarville, I think some other colleges as well are reporting uh, mighty moves of God. And, and I want us to talk about what is a takeaway that we can learn from their testimony to have a move of God in our own lives. Well, one of the things that uh, Asbury is reporting is that a student got up and began to lead the way in confession of sin and invite others to the altar to confess their sin as well. And upon um, coming before God and humbling themselves and confessing sin, there was a move of God that began, and it was a sweet spirit, a gentle spirit, not a condemning spirit, not a harsh spirit, uh, but a gentle, sweet, loving spirit that entered that place that people don't want to leave. Just like any relationship that, that you want to have with someone, um, there's a covenant of trust required where we're going to do our best to honor, uh, respect, be thoughtful of the other. Um, you know, if you come into my jurisdiction, uh, in my home, uh, where I have certain household rules, um, if you are aware of those rules, you're not going to intentionally want to violate that. If you love me and care for me and and want a friendship and a relationship with me, right? If so, if you know I don't want shoes on in my home, uh, you're not going to come marching in with your shoes on anyways and put your shoes up on my furniture if you know that's going to be bothersome to me. Um, if I'm having you know a house party that I have uh, diligently prepared for and sacrificed for, where um, clearly I've put a lot of time and energy into making the house nice and making people feel welcome and putting forth a lot of food and drink and games. Um, you're not wanna, gonna wanna come into that premise if you care about me and want a relationship with me and, and not really care about what my agenda is and what my will is for the night. Uh, you know, you're just gonna go ahead and turn on TV because you feel like turning on the TV, regardless of what I would want as the host and regardless of uh, the sacrifice I've made, you're not even going to check in with me or be respectful of my desires for the night. You know, you're probably not going to get invited back. We're probably not going to have a very close relationship unless, of course, you would humble yourself. See, the people who get revived and filled with the Spirit of God are the people that want to honor and respect God with their lives. In fact, Jesus told very religious people in his day, they, they went to church every week, they paid their tithe, they were very careful about rules. He says, you know, you draw near to me with your lips, but your heart is far from me. I'm not, I'm not in relationship with you. You you have a form of godliness, but you don't know the power of godliness. You don't know God. You don't have an experience, a personal encounter with God because there's no inward disposition that is really caring about honoring me. It's just about you and appearances and trying to get people to be impressed by you. You see, Jesus is looking at the intentions of our heart. And if the intention of our heart is to say, God, I don't want to do anything that hurts you. I want to honor you with my life. And so we are working with him to keep out of our lives those things that he has revealed are grievous to him in his word. Um, that's when we get to experience the fullness of God. And so the one takeaway we can get from Asbury that we can include in our own lives that could lead to our own time of reviving and refreshing and fullness of joy with the presence of God, the love of God that is a sweet spirit, not a condemning spirit, is that we would be honest and coming to agreement with God about those things in our lives that we know are not pleasing to him. And we would turn from those things and we would make a, a real effort of cutting those things out of our lives, of getting accountability around the things that we know are not pleasing with him and, and a desire then to spend time with him and to seek him the way that uh, the youth of Asbury and now other colleges are seeking his presence. They want to spend time with him. They want to know him. And Jesus said, this is eternal life, to know the one true God and the Son, Jesus Christ. And so I want to ask you today, are you experiencing the manifest presence in, uh, of God in your life? If not, would you be humble? enough to confess sin 
ways you know you're missing the mark of God's standard for your life. And, and would you apologize for that and say, Jesus, I want you to come into my life. I want a relationship with you. I want to be a friend of yours. Would you come and forgive me? And would you help me to honor you? And if that's your heart's desire, and you'll take efforts uh, with, with him in prayer and seeking him to keep sin out of your life, and you'll work with God's people to do the same, I promise you, God is faithful to bring revival to you as well. So I hope this is encouraging to you this week. All the best to you. If you don't have a church home, I hope you'll join us here at Hilltop Church to help you in this journey of faith that you're on, and you can help us as well. All the best. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of The Yellow Chair. If this information was helpful to you, would you do us a favor and click the like button on our YouTube videos to help us in the algorithm and get this information out to others? Also, if you have a friend or an acquaintance that you think this could be helpful to, make sure you share it with them and hit the subscribe button as well and we'll drop a new video for you each week that will hopefully help you in all things pertaining to life and godliness because we want fullness of joy for you. Have a great day.